When the night comes, the Hawaiian coral reef comes alive. The tide changes, flows in and out, causing little underwater tornadoes. This is the time of the 24 cycle that the daytime fish go to sleep and the nighttime fish, like this Aveo Veo, come awake. There are more creatures out on the Hawaiian coral reef at nighttime than there are during the daytime. Very strange creatures like this Alakuma or 7-Eleven crab are out foraging for food just minutes after the sun goes down. There are way more creatures that come out on the Hawaiian coral reef at nighttime than there are during the daytime. A lot of times snorkelers and divers will dive some spot and see maybe one, two, or three reef creatures during the day and then at nighttime there'll be thousands of them like these sea anemone crabs. You don't see these during the daytime. All kinds of strange creatures like this gigantic three foot long sea cucumber come out at nighttime to filter feed. These nighttime creatures use all kinds of different sensors to sense their surrounding for food and movement than they do during the daytime. The lionfish comes out at nighttime, the sea cucumbers come out at nighttime that squirt purple ink into the water, and lobsters come out of their holes at nighttime and start crawling around on the rocks and the ceilings of the caves. Most of the night creatures have tentacles and hairs on their body like this red reef lobster. That way it's kind of like their whole body is covered with eyes. They can sense every kind of movement that happens around them without having to have normal eyesight. A lot of the creatures at nighttime are red because the red wavelength doesn't go below the water very well. So at nighttime and even during the daytime, these red creatures actually are black. Spanish dancer Nudibranch swim through the water while octopus hang out on the reef waiting for their first meal of the evening. The nighttime is just alive with these special creatures. This ornate octopus is cruising across the sea floor looking for sleeping fish to eat. Here's one of the parrot fish sleeping at nighttime, but then the porcupine fish at nighttime, when you disturb them, makes a big balloon. These Ambon tobies sleep at nighttime and turn super colorful, while the banded shrimp and the starfish are just waking up and coming out of the caves. Really bizarre fireworms come out of the holes. The butterfly fish are sitting there trying to sleep all by themselves, where usually during the daytime, they're off in a school of fish. These anemone crabs are just so fascinating. They're actually a hermit crab that lives in an old shell that it finds on the seafloor. Then what it does is it takes sea anemones and puts it on top of its shell. And those sea anemones, when disturbed, will put out a sticky stinging cells that keep the hermit crab safe. This one is living in the shell of a tongue shell. And you can see when it starts to get disturbed, the anemone puts out these stinging long strings which actually keep the hermit crab inside the shell safe. These convex crabs come out onto the reef to feed, the red swimming crabs and reef crabs. There's all kinds of neat crabs, like this swimming crab with the psychedelic eyes. They come out and feed at nighttime. Sea cucumbers called loli come out at nighttime. There's a bunch of different ones. This one, the lion's paw sea cucumber, is almost four feet long and it's like a big accordion. When you touch it, it actually folds back up upon itself and can fit into a hole that's only a few inches deep. This is a very rare cusk eel that comes out at nighttime. 
They grow to be about two feet long, and they have these exotic looking whiskers on their chin, kind of like a catfish. This way, when it's pure black at nighttime, they can sense their food items with these whiskers. They eat small fish, and these creatures are actually very rare. I've only seen a few of them in my thousands of dives at nighttime in the Hawaiian Islands. They're really cool looking and they scurry into the cracks. The moana or the goatfish, well, they sleep at nighttime. When they sleep, they turn these incredibly bright colors, even brighter and more beautiful than they are during the daytime. They can turn all kinds of different colors even the yellow colored veke goatfish, like this one here, turns red at nighttime. This side spot goatfish turns a banded color. These animals may turn from yellow to red when they go to sleep at nighttime. These are the kualakai, the sea hares. There's a bunch of different varieties on the Hawaiian reef at nighttime, and sometimes you'll see two to three hundred and one nighttime snorkel. They eat red algae, and then when you disturb them, they put out a jet of red algae ink, kind of like the octopus does. And this helps disguise them and try to crawl away slowly with the red ink in the way so you can't see where they're going. Again, these creatures are really, really, really common at nighttime, and you see dozens of them. The sea turtles, sometimes the honu are out swimming around at night. And then the ula'e, the lizard fish, sleeps at night. But it's got these bright colored lips that makes it look like they have giant teeth when they only have little dinky teeth. Ula, the lobster, comes out at nighttime. Most all lobsters around the world are nocturnal. You don't see them during the daytime very much. This is the banded lobster. It's the biggest one we have here in Hawaii, also called a purple lobster. They get almost 20 inches long. And once again, at nighttime, you'll see most all of the animals have antenna, tentacles, or hairs covering their body so they can sense movement at nighttime. It works a lot better than their eyes. We have about a half dozen different lobster species here in the Hawaiian Islands. And again, most of the time you see them at nighttime. Sometimes back in the caves you'll see a lobster too, but at night they're out crawling around on the reef like this red reef lobster. This is the sculptured slipper lobster climbing upside down in one of the caves. These lobsters will climb upside down, right side up. It doesn't even really matter to them. The Hawaiian name for the slipper lobster is Ula Papapa. This is the beautiful regal slipper lobster that has kind of like paddle-like antenna. There's all kinds of moray eels out on the reef at nighttime. In general, they're called puhi. Some of them get to be about four feet long. This is a banded moray, or puhi lehala. It's actually swimming right next to one of the gigantic lion's paw sea cucumbers. They swim through the rocks like this looking for sleeping fish, crabs, lobsters, and other critters to eat. Most all of the moray eels come out at nighttime. There's a few species that come out during the day, but way more common at night. This white margin or yellow margin moray is being cleaned by a cleaner shrimp. This is the Congo eel, the Puhi Uha, that gets to be about five feet long. Now these eels, sometimes you can see four or five of them in a half an hour out at nighttime feeding on fish. They're really cute. They have a long dorsal fin down their whole body. Two little teeny pectoral fins that kind of look like comical ears. These creatures are very common in shallow water. Sometimes you'll see three or four only in a foot deep. You can see here they eat fish at nighttime. So this conger eel just grabbed a yellow tang. These moray eels are feed just like snakes do on land. They grab their food and they eat it whole, head first a little bit at a time. They can open up their jaws quite a bit. They're a little bit have hinges that they can unhinge. 
and that way they can eat a fish that's even wider than their head. Sometimes these eels, like this conger eel, learn to hunt in the diver's lights. So when you turn the light on, they follow divers around to grab fish. This is the undulated moray eel, the Puhi Laumilo. This one gets about five feet long and looks really, really mean and aggressive, but they're actually not. Matter of fact, in all of my years diving with these moray eels at nighttime, I've never had one try to bite me. What they do though, is they breathe through their mouth. And so when you're out there snorkeling with the bright light or scuba diving with the bright light, it scares these fish. And so what happens is when they get scared, they breathe more and therefore they open their mouth more. They're not trying to hurt people. It's just simply the way that they breathe. This is one of the stout moray eels, Puhe. And this individual species can be about five different colors from black to white to reddish to brownish colors. They wake up right as the sun's going down. This is the yellow-headed moray eel, Puhi Apo. And this moray eel cruises around on the reef at nighttime, again, looking for small fish to eat. In Hawaii, we have a lot of moray eels because we don't have any big grouper fish that feed on moray eels. So these moray eels don't have very many predators. So we probably have more moray eels, especially out at nighttime here in Hawaii, than anywhere in the world. This is a big-eyed emperor sleeping, and then the aha, or the needlefish. And it's actually sleeping at nighttime in the shallow lagoons. This one just got woken up because of our bright dive lights. All kinds of crazy nudibranchs come out at nighttime. They're called nudibranchs because they have nude gills, nude bronchia. My favorite creature and most everyone's favorite creature on the coral reef at nighttime are the octopus. I mean, how could you not like these things? They are so intelligent, so magical, do so many crazy things that even humans can't do. This is the day octopus and they're called Hee. So it's out at nighttime. Most of the time, these day octopus, they have shorter legs they get really good size, I mean, up to about a foot to two foot long. They have eight legs and they have what's basically a brain in every one of their legs. It's really cool. So each leg independently can move around and catch fish or a small reef creature for dinner. This day octopus actually has a fish it's holding inside of its mouth right now. You can see why it's got the big bulge below the eyes. They move backwards and forwards, and they put water in their mantle, that big balloon on their forehead, and they squirt the water out in order to move forwards or backwards. It's kind of jet propulsion. These octopus can change colors on a second. They can change shape instantly. And the way they do that is by squeezing different muscle cells and so their color rods go up or down, and that's what causes them to change color instantly. The day octopus, like this one here, an adult female, are usually only active at nighttime when they're ready to lay their eggs. This one here, as you can see, it's got a fish already inside, but it's trying to catch more fish because it wants to get enough energy to be able to lay a batch of successful eggs. Once these octopus females lay their eggs, they guard their eggs for about 30 days until they hatch, and then the female octopus will die. Watch this one, actually caught a fish, but the fish gets away, a little manini, and then it zooms away, and it's already got one of them inside of its mouth. These, three, these creatures are really fascinating. I mean, they can do more stuff than most any sea creature can at any given time in their natural environment. These day octopus we usually find in only about a foot to two to three feet deep of water. And that's primarily because that's where the fish come in to sleep at nighttime. And you can see that manini got away. Now we have the night octopus that you see more often at nighttime. 
And once again, these day octopus you see during the day, except when they're ready to lay their eggs. You can see Pamela here comes up and touches it. They're not very much afraid of people, but you can see how large it is. They see incredibly well at nighttime. If one of their legs should ever get severed, maybe by a predator fish like a big ulua or a shark, they'll actually grow their leg back. Really, truly amazing creatures. One of my favorite sea creatures. And that's why I, I kind of spend a lot of time on this segment talking about them because I could easily do an hour long movie on nothing but the octopuses. Now this one here, watch how fast it changes color. From gray to brown in a split second. Truly amazing. This is the night octopus or the ornate octopus. Now you can see it's actually longer and thinner than the day octopus. And it also pretty much stays this golden kind of color. This one's trying to get away from me in the bright lights, and so it's backing itself into a hole in the reef. They can change from being spotted to being striped, and they go back to being spotted in a split second. These octopuses actually are not aggressive at all when you're out diving with them. The parrotfish, the uhu, come in and sleep at nighttime. Here's a female spectacle parrotfish, but the male, Blunt-nosed parrotfish builds a cocoon at nighttime out of saliva to help protect it. This is the male star-eyed parrotfish, and the males are much more brighter blue. This is one of the box fish, the moa. The male is blue, the female is more just black and white spotted. These little cuties come in and sleep in the coral at nighttime. And when you startle them, they tuck their tail up underneath their body. They're called boxfish because they're rock hard. If you were to grab one, it would feel like you were holding onto a solid rock. The only thing that moves on these fish are their little fins. Here's Kokala, the porcupine fish, and it's got a remora, a sucker fish, holding onto its head. The Kokala, these big porcupine fish, can blow up like a big balloon with their spines sticking out by filling up with water. They also have highly poisonous skin. This is the short spine porcupine fish. People don't eat these because if you ate one, it would kill you. Just that simple. Highly, highly toxic poison in their skin. It's not even good to touch one of them as they might poke you with the spines and get some of the poison underneath your skin, which could send you to the hospital. These fish are super docile, but when they get afraid, they puff up. That's why they call them puffer fish. This is a striped belly puffer fish, and then the toby. These little cuties are sleeping at nighttime up on the reef. Now, when they sleep, they don't shut their eyes because they don't have eyelids, just like this little spotted toby. We have bubble shells that come out at nighttime. There's all kinds of invertebrates, like this textile cone called leho. There's these cowrie shells, like this tiger cowrie and mole cowrie and reticulated cowrie. You hardly ever see these during the daytime, but they're really quite common out at nighttime. And they actually clean up the seafloor. They cruise around on the seafloor and eat up a lot of the decaying plant material. This cowrie, the big giant tiger cowrie, has its mantle that's out over the top of its shell. And the mantle's the foot. During the daytime, it's usually inside the shell. They use this foot to polish their shell. That's what keeps it shiny, it's really cool. If you were to touch them, like this money cow right here, the mantle would go back inside its shell. So here's the money cow right with the mantle out, and then the mantle in. There's all kinds of different snail shells that come out at nighttime on the coral reef. Dozens and dozens and dozens of different species. This one's called the basset shell. This one's called the umbrella snail. And then the tun shell. This partridge tun shell, Pu Oni Oni O, is a Hawaiian name. And then you have all kinds of crazy hermit crabs. This one's called a hairy hermit crab. And it's living inside of one of the tun shells. 
At nighttime, the holy holy, the flag tails, come and sleep on the reefs. So right at nighttime, they come in in schools, but then they sleep by themselves on the reef, hiding from the moray eels. These are the mullets, the ama ama, and they come in usually during the daytime. They're in big schools. You can see 40, 50 in a school, but at nighttime, they hang out by themselves. These are the cardinal fish. We got several different types of them. These are the ali ihi, which is a type of squirrel fish. There's several different types. This is the Hawaiian squirrel fish. The other one was a spot fin squirrel fish. Several different types of starfish come out at nighttime. The Fisher's star, the velvet star, and this cushion star. The manini and the palani come in and sleep by themselves at nighttime. Again, these surgeon fish, like this blue spine unicorn fish, the kala, are normally in schools during the daytime. But at nighttime, they feel more safe by hiding in the crocs and cracks in the reef at nighttime. This is sailfin tang, really beautiful fish. This is the uma uma lei, or the unicorn fish, orange spine unicorn fish. Then the nunu, the big trumpet fish. Again, these fish are sleeping at nighttime, where many of the fish come out at nighttime, like mono, the shark, the white tip reef shark, that comes out and feeds at nighttime, right when the sun's starting to go down. And here's one out in the middle of the nighttime. And during the daytime, these sharks are usually sleeping. This is mono lalakea. And then, right before every single snorkel, you'll almost always run into a big spaghetti worm. And if you touch it, it zooms back into its hole. I hope you enjoyed our underwater adventure out at Shark's Cove. Please visit our webpage at underwater2web.com and check out all of our amazing worldwide underwater educational series. Aloha from Under the Waves.